Yes, good evening and welcome to the Senna in Dural for the third and final Pacific Ox Sports Futsal Series clash between Australia and the Solomon Islands. Thanks for tuning in to this international coming to you on the Football Australia YouTube channel. Certainly with you in commentary, it's a pleasure to bring tonight's action to you. Now pause now for the national anthem. Football Australia would like to acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the traditional custodians on the land on which we gather here tonight for this match. We recognise any elders, past, present and emerging who may be with us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthems of the Solomon Islands and Australia. Three internationals played between these two nations. The first on Saturday, 
played in Maroubra at the newly opened Heffron Centre. Ended one goal apiece, while on Monday night at this venue, it was a 3-2 victory for the Futsal Roos. We'll quickly run you through the team news ahead of kickoff here. Both teams making a couple of changes to the side that started that last fixture. We'll start with the away side, the Kuru Kuru of Solomon Islands, coached by Damon Stork. Shaw start with Anthony Talo in net. The number two, Calvin Daoro. The number six, Charlie Otaino. The number 10, Sammy Lalo Jr. And the number 11, Owen Bunabo. The Futsal Roos, on the other hand, they start with Dominic Badalato in net. Number four, Daniel Fogarty, the number five, Jordan Guerrero, the number six, Wade Giovanali, the number eight, goal scorer on the last two occasions, Daniel Fornito, completing that starting lineup, coached by former Futsal Roo, Miles Downey. Amongst the substitutes for Australia today, the number two, Jacob Basden, the number three, Adam Cooper, the number seven, Scott Rogan, number nine, Grant Lynch, number 10, Shevin Adeli, the captain, number 11, Nicholas Rathjen, number 12, Aaron Yu, number 15, Emmanuel Zanakas, number 17, Tyler Garner, and number 20, Michael Kuda. So that completes the team news kickoff not far away here in Dural. Looking forward to seeing how this unfolds. Your referee today is Chris Sinclair of New Zealand. He's assisted by Nick Basco of Australia and Andrew Best of Australia as third referee. Timekeeper is Adrian Tamplin. Final checks underway. This week's fixtures in the Pacific Oz Sports International Series as a result of a partnership with the Australian Government and Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs. So a huge thanks to Pacific Oz Sports for putting this game on. Nice crowd. Sold out allocation here in Dural for this one. It's a real buzz amongst the place as the Futsal Roos prepare to take to the pitch. And off we go. Two 20-minute halves on the way. But of course, for those not familiar with Futsal, we do take a stoppage for every time the ball does go out of play. And it's Australia looking to get off on the front foot. As they lay it off, it did fall in the area to Fogarty, but it's back with the Solomon Islands now. Their coach, Damon Shaw, was full of praise for his side following that tight 3-2 defeat earlier this week. Remarkably proud of the week they've had. It's been a huge week of preparation for both Australia and the Solomon Islands. This series marking the Futsal Roos' first game on home soil since 2019. That occurred when these two nations played out a couple of friendlies out at Valentine Sports Park and Sydney Olympic Park. Similar sort of results in those games as well, ending 3-2 and 4-3 to Australia. Solomon Islands looking to get forward but just as we say that it's Fogarty streaming forward for the Futsal Roos but cut out well in the end by Sammy Lalo Jr who's making his first start of the series one of two changes that coach Damon Shaw has made Let's see what Australia have up their sleeve here it's Fogarty laying it off in the first shot of anger of the game from that left boot of Daniel Fornito Scored two goals so far in this series. Really has been in some form. He was the hero in the grand final in the New South Wales competition for Inner West. And that's 10-6 win over the mascot Vipers. Daniel Fornito scored a hat-trick. Real captain's knock and certainly has impressed in green and gold. It's also Australia's top scorer over in Thailand the last time the side featured ahead of this series back at the AWF tournament last year. Here comes Givenali for Australia. Checks back 
Finding Fernando. Out wide it comes and cut out, but does fall back to Fornado and it almost fell in the end for Guerrero. Couldn't quite keep it in play. He returned to the Futsuru set up last year after a few years away. And once again, it went long from the Solomon Islands and it fell to Dominic Badalado, goalkeeper who's impressed so far in this camp. Just his second call up to the national team and speaking to Captain Shevin Adeli for the game. He was very impressed with how the goalkeepers come along. Here's Fernando. Looking at options ahead of him. Out it goes for Giovanali. Of course, such a famous name in the futsal ruse ranks. Here is Fornito. Skips past one and forces a top save out of Anthony Tarlow. Keeping Australia at bay for now. They will have their first corner of the game coming up. Been laid long. Giovanali went low and Solomon Islands got in the way. A nice little nutmeg gets the crowd's attention and here comes Solomon Islands as it was cut out. But Sammy Lalo Jr. of Salt FC in the Solomon Islands catching the eye early. But once again, it's Australia on the attack and they could be on here. And there is the opening goal. Jordan Guerrero finding the back of the net. The home fans find their feet and it took just less than two minutes for Australia to get the scoring started here at the centre. And it's a familiar face in Jordan Guerrero with his first goal of the series. Nicely worked move, makes it 1-0. Here come Australia pressing, looking for more. Giovanali cuts out and they could just be on. He tried to ball roll it past his marker, but he's won it back now. Not too much support, so took it on his own. Defensive backtracking. Solomon Islands look for an answer. Won't have it that way. Charles Taino sending that one over into the crowd. He was the danger man. And the only other player to have two goals to their name so far in this series. Number six, Solomon Islands. But it's Australia on the attack again. And it's the goal scorer in Guerrero who can't keep it in play that time. appeals to the officials there but we've had no fouls in this game yet of course again those unfamiliar with futsal rules both teams are allowed five fouls before a 10 meter penalty is given five fouls in each half that is it's been a couple of while well, they've been hard, hardly fought out these two games haven't been too many of those fouls or cards given. Just a couple of bookings so far in the series. Here's the Solomon Islands looking to restore parity and it forces a save out of Badalado. Tipping Calvin Duoro's shot over the bar. Can Solomon Islands find the quick response the other night on Monday? They did strike back within a couple of minutes of conceding the opening goal. Is Junior Mana out there now for Kuru Kuru? You can see the changes rolling in for Australia. Of course, rolling subs allowed in futsal. As you can see, effectively, it looks as though the whole team is switching over here. Scott Rogan on the ball now. Second goal scorer on Monday, the Victorian. Sends it forward for another goal scorer in Grant Lynch. Linking up back with Rogan, who sent it across the face and... Out for a goal kick. He 
Here's Dororo. Inside, one touch play, cut out by Australia. Back to Battelado. Rogan did well to keep that in play. Keep it moving for Lynch. Venomous effort, but met by Talo. Grant Lynch didn't play the first game of this three-match series due to his commitments with Blacktown City in the MPL New South Wales men's competition. Here's Rogan now with a pocket of space. Links up with Lynch. Looks to take it on his left. He can lay it back now. Now the long-range strike. You can see Lynch just trying to deflect it in. Couldn't quite wrap his boot around it. It's been an entertaining start to this game. Four minutes in, 1-0 to the Aussies, thanks to the goal that came from Guerrero. They're looking for two here. It's been laid off nicely. And the deflection off the head of Jeffrey Bully takes it out for a corner. It's a good effort by Tyler Garner, the West Australian. Made his debut on Saturday. Looking for a first goal for his country. It's been flicked towards Rogan. He has two green shirts for company. It's turned over on that occasion. Once again, Australia doing well to build a bit of a stranglehold over their opponents. Great crowd in here at the centre in Dural to witness the third of these three futsal internationals. It's sent long now. Lynch is looking to meet it. Of course, this game shapes as some good preparation for both of these nations as they eye a spot at the Futsal World Cup in Uzbekistan next year. Qualifying set to take place in October for both nations. Australia are heading to Chinese Taipei, trying to get out of a group involving Chinese Taipei and Japan. October 7 and October 9 are those two match days. While well, the Solomon Islands there heading to Auckland as this one's laid back and one back by the away side. Once again, Australia swarm and the challenge comes in. It was a swinging leg from Tyler Garner. He's just beaten to the ball by his opponent, and you can see Clifford Misitana just staying down in a touch of discomfort, but back on his feet. Now it's back to the goalkeeper, Tallo, and we saw it a couple of times the other night as well, not afraid to have a hit if the opportunity begs. That one flies over the bar. Now Lynch playing that target role, goes to ground wanting the foul not given, so Solomon Islands see what they can do with it. Nice footwork there from Ellis Mano. It comes for Talo now. Once again, the goalkeeper joining the attack. But can't go back to him now. With that back pass rule cut out now by Lynch. Australia might be on. It's been saved well. Tyler Garner was searching for that first international goal. Not to be on that occasion. So Adam Cooper to get us back started with the corner. Back it comes for Garner. Works it out for Lynch, who just tried to curl it. Rolled forward now by Solomon Islands. Ellis Mana, it is Jeffrey Bully. He's marshaled well by Adam Cooper. Once 
once again. Australia ringing in the changes. A few new faces set to take to the pitch. There's including Manuel Zanakas, the youngest player in the squad today for Miles Downey. Here's Giovanali. Lays it back and Zanakas gets a touch. Giovanali back out there with some energy. Coming forward with some real intent. He's got an option to his right. And it forces a top save out of Tallow. And sent into the stands as Solomon Islands look to go the other way. So nearly for Daniel Fornito trying to add another to his tally. Australia had numbers there. If it wasn't for the heroics from the Kuru Kuru keeper, it would be 2-0. Fornito might have another chance here, though. Cannons the effort off the boot of Duoro. Positive signs for Australia speaking to Miles Downey. It's been turned over, though. Here come the Solomon Islands. The ball roll from Bernabo. Just saw it run away from him. Best chance of the game so far. Goes begging. <laughs> foul given there to Australia. So both teams at a foul apiece, seven minutes into this game. 20 minute halves, but stoppages taking place. Here come the Futsaroos looking to extend their advantage. Certainly had more of the attacking opportunities, but as we saw in this game, just takes a moment for things to turn around. And Talo called into action again and doing well to capture it. Forward now. Nabo marshaled by Giovanali. It will be a corner. What can Solomon Islands do now? They get the shot away, but only into the leg of an Australian defender. Still on for the away side. And thumbs up comes from Charlie Otaino. Scored late goals in both games so far this series. The Dawn FC attacker. Majority of this Kuru Kuru squad from Dawn FC and Matax FC, the top two teams in their 19 league last season. And once again turned over to Bernabo and the shot came from a Tino from long range. Now, a long ball forward just ahead of Zanakis. You can hear the groans from the crowd whirling him forward. As mentioned, it's been a great vibe around the futsal community. Occasions like this haven't occurred enough in the last few years for Australia. They're looking to make the most of it, and here could be a chance. Giovanali laying it off for Nito, putting his head up, and those two trying to make it happen. Dooro now for the Solomon Islands. Rockets it over the bar. Now you can hear that applause. The Australian captain, Shevin Adeli, out there now. Nice fan club for the number 10, just in front of our commentary position here. We'll bring the house down if he can find the back of the net. And it might just fall for him here. Could be on for the futsal ruse. Guerrero makes it two. He has a brace. Australia double their advantage with a well-taken finish. Jordan Guerrero straight back on the pitch and onto the score sheet. 
home fans like what they see here at the center in Jural. 2 0. Eight and a half minutes played. Miles Downey said the other night that he hoped his side could be more clinical, and they've certainly shown that so far in this game. It's been one of the experienced faces in Guerrero who's popped up for the Futsal Roos here. Did spend a bit of time overseas, Jordan Guerrero, playing futsal in the second division of Portugal a few years ago. Played for Villa Verde, which is also a club that his coach, Miles Downey, once represented. Here he is on a hat-trick now, Guerrero on the ball, but it's one back well by Missy Tana. Just as I say that, Guerrero, he's everywhere at the moment. It's back with the Solomon Islands. Can they pull one back? It was cut out well, and guess who? It's Guerrero coming forward with it. He has a deli for company. That's who he was looking for, but the late challenge brings not only the foul, but also the first card of the night. Jeffrey Bully, the player on a yellow. Futsal GC representative. He was one of a handful of players who represented the Solomon Islands at the last FIFA Futsal World Cup in 2021. It's Guerrero, two goals to his name and standing over this free kick now. Does he go for goal or go for a teammate? Just one standing in the way for the Solomon Islands. It's Guerrero, and that one defender does get in the way, not once, but twice, Jeffrey Boule. Shot came in there from Adeli. Australia thought it took a deflection. Back with the Solomon Islands goalkeeper, Talo. Heaves it long, and the shout came from Badalado. Another member of that inner west side who were crowned champions late last year in New South Wales. Here's Guerrero now. Looks forward, it's cut out. It could be a chance for Solomon Islands. Free kick given. The lated whistle came for a handball against, against Jeffrey Bully. Here's Missy Tana, not wide for Bully. Nicholas Rathjen out there now for Australia. One of the players from the ACT, a capital football representative out there. Quite a story though. The background, Nicholas Rathjen, he's American born but raised in England before he moved to Australia. Here's a deli dragged down. Once again, no arguments come from Solomon Islands. The deli was about to pull the trigger and we have another yellow card this time. Clifford Misitana. It's a free kick right on the edge of the area for Australia. Prime opportunity as they look to make it three. That's the fourth foul for the Solomon Islands. So all of a sudden that foul count has flew up in these last couple of minutes. Looks as though it will be Adam Cooper, the Victorian, with the right-footed option, or Daniel Fornito, who took a penalty the other night with the left. It was Cooper who hit it. Solomon Islands dealing with the threat well. 
back with Fornito now. And Cooper. Forwards. Brought down well. Important touch from Tallo. Now it's Boule. It's back. The Kuru Kuru goalkeeper. Fought back well after going a couple of goals down. The away nation here. A couple of players slip, but it's Dooro coming forward with it. Might just go it on his own, and that wasn't far away. Had Badalado sprawling. Once again, another strike flies over the bar. It took a deflection, so it will be a corner. Dangerous moments for the Futsal Roos there. Late to take, and this one flies out of play off Dooro. Giovanni back on the pitch, as is Rogan. Asking for options ahead of him. And that one rolls out. Nine minutes remaining now in the first half at the centre. Australia leading by two goals to nil. Both goals scored by Jordan Guerrero. It's been a hard fought affair and Solomon Islands certainly haven't been without their chances. Here comes another. Tino looking for a third goal of the series, sends that one over. Here's Giovanni. Almost allowed to run away, but here come the Futsal Roos. And there is the third. Slotted home coolly by Daniel Fogarty. And how about the celebration? Most capped member of the squad gets his name on the score sheet. Now it's 3 0. Lives up in Queensland at the moment. Representative from that state finding the back of the net. Just as you felt, Solomon Islands were working their way back into it. Australia hit them with a sucker punch. Number four and number five who have done the work for Australia as Giovanni's shot clipped the outside of the post. Also took a deflection. Michael Kuda out there now laying it back. Turned over ahead of Rogan. Australia scam scramble well at the cost of a foul and there were some afters though. You saw the kick come in from Owen Bernabo, who comes becomes the third player into the book. Michael Kuda in a little bit of discomfort as a result too. Unfortunately, forced off the pitch. The initial infringement was against Australia, I believe, but just some afters causing that booking. Three yellows shown by the referee, Chris Sinclair of New Zealand. Of course, we also have timeouts as an option in this game, none taken yet. Both teams allowed one in each half. In one way traffic in terms of goals scored in this game so far, but still has been a highly competitive affair. Australia coming forward for a fourth now. It's Grant Lynch, and he tried to lay it off for Rogan. Solomon Islands now streaming forward. Can they find the answer? It's Dooro still with it. And handball 
may well be the decision here against Scott Rogan. It is. And the Solomon Island fans are finding their voice now. This time the Futsal Roos will have to defend and the one minute timeouts just being called at this set piece might just allow an opportunity for the Solomon Islands just to get their cards in order and you can see the whiteboard out from, Re from coach Damon Shaw engineering exactly what they have coming up in this set piece it's a prime opportunity for them to get back into the game so 30 seconds left of the timeout Hope you're enjoying the coverage of this Futsal International coming to you on the Football Australia YouTube channel. This series, the Pacific Oz Sports Futsal Series, the result of a partnership with the Australian Government and Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs. So huge thanks to them for helping make this happen. It's been a great occasion, a great expression of the sport. And now with the timeout over, we can turn our attention back onto the pitch. A set-piece opportunity for Kuru Kuru. Three goals down. You can see all five Australia players blocking the frame of the goal. It's Elliot Ragomo to take. Ragomo lays it off and it's in. Charlie Ataino on the score sheet once again. Solomon Islands pull one back via the nicely worked set piece. It went through the legs of Badalado. You can just hear the noise here in Dural. It's game on once again. So Australia looking to strike back. That one caught well by Talo. He had to get there. Was going in. Now the shot. This game just stepping up a notch as Ragomo hit it. He can claim the assist for that goal, having laid it off for a tie now. That makes it three goals in three games for the Dawn FC man. Nice work from Elliot Ragomo setting it up. Familiar name for the Australian side. He spent some time here playing for Dural at one stage. He's lived in Australia from about 12 years of age. Ragomo, here's his teammate, Dooro, winning it back, laying it back. Dangerous moment as Australia look to press, but back with Ragomo now, the Solomon Islands skipper. He actually represented a New South Wales team back in 2011 at New South Wales Thunder, who travelled overseas to the AFC Futsal Club Championships. Certainly out to impress the skipper. The shot came in there from Tyler Garner. Can only glance it out of play, though. Loose ball now, and Lynch had to hit it first time. It was on his weaker right foot, and didn't sail over by too much. Now the long release, Badalado chests it down. How about that for the control? It's Solomon Islands you can feel the momentum, just swaying a bit towards the away nation. They fought back well after going three goals down. Here's Australia looking to regain that buffer. Restart goes to the away side. Talo sending it long, flicked on, off the post and in. Charlie Atino has a quick fire double as he grabs the badge, rallies the troops. They're looking to spring a first-half comeback here, the Solomon Islands. All of a sudden, 
It's 3-2. It's been quite the goal scoring machine. A tie now. He got fortunate with the deflection, but made his own luck really with that flick on. And you can just see it's all falling to the Solomon Islands now. They're playing with a real spring in their step as they come forward and the sliding challenge. Guerrero looking to hold that momentum. Less than 15 minutes into this game and it's already brought as many goals as Monday night's contest. Strap in, sit back and enjoy. That's some highly intense international futsal. Marlon Sear out there now, sending in the corner. Lynch clears. Here's Sia, back from Misitana, scooped forward now and allowed to run back. Here comes Guerrero, his two opening goals feel like a while ago now. Here he comes forward again, well defended by Duoro. He's actually headed overseas shortly, a recent announcement for Calvin Duoro. He's signed a contract in China for Sangji Zhangyu FC. He'll be the first member of this squad, or the only member of this squad, plying their trade overseas in futsal. So huge congratulations to Calvin, and certainly has been one of the stars of this series for the Solomon Islands. Here's Australia looking to wrestle their way back into the ascendancy. Been hit by a Kuru Kuru wave in these last few minutes. It was 3-0, now 3-2. Feel the next goal in this contest could prove vital. It's Australia looking for it now. Could be the chance, and it's a goal. Daniel Fornito finding the back of the net for a third straight game. The composure on his weaker right foot, and that all-important goal falls to Australia, just as the Solomon Islands had almost reeled their way back into it. Just over five minutes remaining in the first half. It's now 4-2. Goals galore for your Wednesday night. Here's Bully, one back well. And a sliding challenge. Deemed a fair one. You could hear the contact as the Knackers went to ground. The one two now, a good one. Chance could be on for Fogarty. Back to goal, lays it off. And it was an empty net for Zanakas to aim for, but he couldn't quite keep the effort down. Four and a half minutes of the first half left to play here in Jura as the Solomon Islands push forward and Marlon Sia sends it out of play. Plenty of movement there as it's laid back. Cannons off Fogarty. Forward now from Talo, brought down well by Boule, has met a brick wall in Cooper. Once again, Solomon Islands responding after conceding. Will be laid back, Boule on it, pulls the trigger. The reflexes from Badalado, keeping that one out. It was a sharp stop.
Loose ball there, goes all the way back to Talo. Nearly cut out by Zanakas. Four minutes of the first half left to play. Australia still have a timeout up their sleeve. They lead this game 4 2. In case you've just tuned in, you've missed plenty of action. Jordan Guerrero with an early brace had Australia 2 0 up. Daniel Fogarty then made it 3 0 before the Solomon Islands. A double from Charlie Atino had it at 3 2 before a recent strike from Daniel Fornito. Which has us where we are now. 4 2 to the hosts. Badalado forced into action once again. Hasn't been a quiet night for the Australian goalkeeper by any means. More changes by the Solomon Islands now, including the goal scorer back on the pitch and setting up another. The final touch off Junior Mana. Charlie Atino leading the celebrations. They pulled this game back once again. Kuru Kuru of Solomon Islands make it 4-3. And with that, Australia have called their timeout. Listen to the ovation from the Solomon Islands faithful as their side come over to take a breather. We'll have to confirm that at halftime who will officially go down as the goal scorer. It was a Tino's shot. Did take a touch at the back post, but not sure whether it had crossed the line. We'll debate that and come back to you. If it is the Tino's goal, there's a first half hat trick. Less than 10 seconds of the timeout now left to play. The players take back to the pitch. Three minutes and 38 seconds is what the clock sits at ahead of the halftime break. It's all to play for once again. Australia once led this game by three. Solomon Islands well and truly hanging in there. Now sent forward, the first time shot came in. It's fallen now to Rogan. Has options inside. Rathjen with that effort. And Rogan sending in another shot. Victorian. Now it goes long. Just allowed to run out of play. Three minutes of the first half left here in Dural. What a game we have been served up. The final match of this Pacific Oz Sports International Futsal Series. Turned over here. A chance to strike level for the Solomon Islands, but Junior Mana denied. Love to go into half time all square. Damon Shaw's side, English coach, just took over in March. There's plenty of experience coaching in the futsal world. He ran a club in England and has been coaching since the age of 21. Spent some time in Spain growing his education. In the shot, a low effort from Marlon Sia, but it was Badalado who got himself down to keep it out. The inner west goalkeeper putting in some shift tonight. Otherwise, they could well and truly be level the Solomon Islands. They'll continue to push as they have all night. 
A long range shot here, hit at the back post. And Marlon Sia there again, and denied again. Every time Charlie Atino hits it, I feel like he's going to find the back of the net. He certainly has been the danger man. Solomon Islands number six, and now a bobble in the box, and Australia get away with it. It's Juvenali looking to spark them into attack. Turns, finds Rogan, and cuts back, goes to ground, and another yellow card out. A fourth of the night. This time it's Junior Mana who goes into the book. And that's the fifth foul. So in the two minutes and 19 seconds left to Solomon Islands. They do have to be careful here. Australia sitting on four fouls, so not too far behind them in that department. Set piece coming here. Shevin Adeli back on the pitch, standing behind the Solomon Islands goalkeeper for now. Now he drops back in, asking for it. It's laid back for Finito, one of the goal scorers tonight. Givinali was looking to switch it out to Ghana. Young Western Australian, a player. Miles Downey, his coach, said has come a long way the last couple of games. Despite being a debutant on Saturday, feels as though he's already making that shirt his own. Here's Finito, a player who has done that in the last couple of years. Here's Adeli now. Crowd will go up if he can find it. Givinali curls it wide. Asks the official if there's a deflection. Won't be given. Not long left in the first half here now. Minute and a half to play. Australia holding a slim advantage over the Solomon Islands. Marlon Sia to Calvin Doro. Done well to weather the storm a bit now, Australia, after conceding a couple of quick fire goals. And here they come searching for a fifth. Thumbs up from Adeli to Rathjen, applauding the idea behind it. In fact, it was Ghana who delivered. My apologies. Is there another goal in this half? The minute, the seconds tick down. Less than a minute to go now. And here come Kuru Kuru. Adeli backtracking. Important challenge. And it did roll out of play. Fortunately for the away side, otherwise Australia were away there. By the way, it laid back to Dooro. Out wide it comes, my Luma out there. Marlon Sia pulls out the step overs, trying to take on the Aussie skipper Adeli. Forced back to Dooro. They're put, turning the screws now, Solomon Islands. See ya. And Dooro. And they find a way through. 30 seconds to play now in the first half. As the clock ticks down, you can just see the Aussie outfit standing in formation. Solomon Islands willed forward by their goalkeeper, Talo. Do they have one last attack up their sleeve? Ten seconds to play now once this ball returns to play. Just stop for a second. Pitch needs a little bit of cleaning on the far side. Miniature timeout as we enter the final ten seconds. There's a kick in coming for Australia. Leading this game by four goals to three. It's been an absorbing watch. Great news is we've got another 20 minutes to come. Can Australia strike late? They won't do it that way. Out it goes. Still nine seconds on the clock. Talo lofts it long. 
important header down from Ghana. Six seconds now as the Solomon Islands look for a late equaliser. They might not look for it here. Marlon Sia so happy to let the clock run down, and that brings an end to an exciting first half here at the centre in Dural. The 15-minute clock starts for the halftime break, and it sits at Australia 4, Solomon Islands 3. Australia raced out to a three-goal lead, a brace from Jordan Guerrero and a strike from Daniel Fogarty before the comeback started, mastered by Charlie Athino, who had them back at 3-2 before Daniel Fornito made it 4-2. It was then 4-3, Athino perhaps setting it up for Junior Mana. Has us where we are now. 4-3 at the break. We'll leave you for now from the centre in Dural. But please join us in 10 minutes or so for the second half of this Pacific Sports International Futsal Series match. The score at the break, Australia 3, Solomon Islands. In, apologies, let's do that again. Australia 4, Solomon Islands 3.
Yes, welcome back to the Senna in Dural, Sydney for the second half of this third and final Pacific Oz Sports Futsal Series between Australia and the Solomon Islands. We're just about ready for the second half. Thanks to everyone tuning into this one on the Football Australia YouTube channel. 4-3 to the Aussies as we get back underway after a bit of a false start due to the ball still rolling. Crowd filter back into their seats. Capacity crowd here in Sydney's northwest. And they've been treated to a great night of futsal action so far. As we get back underway, and it's an early shot, deflected. And nearly for the Solomon Islands, it was Tallow, the goalkeeper, who hit it. And they were almost level instantly. for Fornito, one of Australia's goal scorers today. In case you've just joined us during the halftime break, it was an early brace from Guerrero who got us started before Australia then made it 3-0 through Daniel Fogarty. The star of the show for the Solomon Islands has been Charlie Athino. 
who has scored a hat-trick. Confirmation that third goal was scored by him. That had it back to 3-2 before Fornito made it 4-3. Speaking of Fornito, he's pinned for the foul there. Off screen. Daniel Fogarty rainbow flicks it into the back of the net, but it won't count. We've got a player still down. Solomon Islands and a yellow card shown as well. So that's Australia's first booking of the game, going to their number eight and top scorer, Daniel Fornito. Just a break early on here, of course. The clock stops every time the ball is out of play in futsal. 20 minute half coming up. Pleasure to bring this game to you. This series all made possible by the Australian Government and Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs. Pacific Oz Sports Series, it's been a great spectacle for the sport of futsal as unfortunately that is Calvin Doro who's been carried off the pitch. Hope he's all right. Looks as though though he's not may unfortunately be over. Player destined to play his futsal in China, it was recently announced. Is Giovanali out to Fornado. First goal from the futsal ruse would definitely set the tone in their favor. They've been flying in at both ends so far. Here come Solomon Islands on the break. As I say that, it's Fornito brought down. The card will surely be out, shown to Marlon Sia, and he's not on a booking. Solomon Islands number five becomes the fifth player from Kuru Kuru into the book. Presents Australia with a set piece opportunity. You can see. Three of their players off to the right in a huddle. Engineering the discussion being led by the experienced Daniel Fogarty. It will be the Victorian Adam Cooper, who plays his club football, club football for Moreland, standing over this one. Australia look for goal number five of the night. And it's laid off, hit by Fornado. Didn't quite catch it how he'd hoped how much power is in that left boot of Daniel Fornito. We've seen him do it throughout this series. And also scored a couple of absolute screamers over in Thailand when the Futsal Roos were last in action in the AWF Futsal Championships last year. 3-2, it ended between these two on Monday night. 1-1 last Saturday. We've already had more goals in just half of this game from those two combined. Here's Giovanali looking to take on his marker, still going. Went from long range and won the restart. Wade Giovanali was one of just a couple of players who featured last time the Futsal Roos played on home soil back in 2019. He actually scored in that series. the youngest of three futsal brothers who have all represented Australia at international level in this sport. Guerrero flicked it past Clifford, who brought him down. Clifford on a yellow card, shown another yellow. The Australian venture up because the red card hasn't yet been brandished, but now it has. Solomon Islands lose their number four. Clifford Visitana will really be up against it now. Referee was left pretty much no options. He, Guerrero had done very well, skipped past his marker and Opposing number five brought him down in a bit of discomfort, so 
It's had to be withdrawn as well, unfortunately. So now, following that decision, timeouts being called. Chance for the Solomon Islands just to look to regroup after losing their number five, Marlon Sia. Early timeout in this second half, a lot earlier than these sides would have been expecting it. We're halfway through the minute allotted. Of course, just confirming in futsal, they won't be down a player for the remainder of the game, Solomon Islands, as the rules state. It'll be two minutes that they're down a player following that red card, or if a goal is scored. Then another player will come back on and we'll be back at five on five. But for the next couple of minutes, that's why the timeout has been called. It's advantage Australia. Maybe a chance for them to extend their advantage and really drive home the slim lead they currently hold. So expect the ball to be towards the left side of your screens as Australia look to turn the screws in these next couple of minutes. We'll just look to hold on for now the Solomon Islands as here comes Daniel Fornito out wide to Cooper and Fogarty can't find Fornito. Ellis Mana out there for Solomon Islands and sent long from Jeffrey Bully. Bounces off the roof of the pitch. Can Australia find a way through, make that extra man count? For Nito and deflected in. Daniel Fogarty might not have known too much about it, but he has fired Australia to a two goal advantage. That extra man does come in handy. Fogarty with his second of the night, set up by Fornito, and it's now 5-3. Fogarty joins Guerrero with a brace so far in this game, the most experienced member of Australia's squad. That one ran out of play, just ahead of Jeffrey Bully. Of course, with that goal going in, it allows the Solomon Islands to return to their full complement. Australia will look to use this momentum. Red card was shown after a second yellow to Marlon Seal. As we've seen so far from Kuru Kuru, they're never out of this game. They will come back with force. It's fairly a forced on the back foot. Laid back, a difficult back pass for Badalado to deal with. Post got in, in the way and Australia get away with a corner in the end. Could have been a lot worse for the Futsal Roos. Now, set piece opportunity for Solomon Islands. It's laid back, Cannon Goldwood from J. Rel Patty. over three minutes played in this second half here in Dural. Australia have made it 5-3. Following that red card. Looking to apply some pressure here for Nito almost winning it back. Forward it 
goes Mana back to goal, lays it back for Marlon Sia. Goes back out there. Number five, back for Bernabo. Taking a bit of possession here for Solomon Islands. Doing well to hold on to it. This is some nice build up. Here's Bernabo stepping over, cutting in. That would have been some goal for Kuru Kuru. Kept out by Badalado. Still could be on though. A bit of miscommunication back with Mana and Sia. Mana it is. Out of play, off Jacob Basden. Once again, Solomon Island fans willing their nation forward. It's a great atmosphere here at the centre in Dural. The third and final Pacific Oz Sports International played between these two nations. Another big defensive intervention from Basden and that will be an Australia ball. <coughs> Here's Rogan now. Spreading it wide down the line. Lynch was the intended destination and he did get a foot in all the way back to Badalado. Goalkeeper not quite able to keep it in play. So the 15 minutes remaining in this game, plenty of time for the Solomon Islands to find a way back into it. Australia have led all night, but they've never truly been comfortable. We could see their lead cut here as the counter, and you could just see that Tyler Garner was clipped. Foul for the Futsal Roos. It's 2-2, two -two, the foul count sitting. Of course, both teams only allowed five before that 10-metre penalty. Here's Basden and Lynch. Works it out wide for Ghana. Down the line he goes and caught well by Taro. Tried to go on a run himself. Here is the goalkeeper still going. Now he loses out and can the Futsal Roos benefit? And they've worked it. Out of play, a couple of players dropping like flies. Appeals come from the Australian bench. Scott Rogan, the man on the deck. We love some chaos along these lines. The keeper run came from Talo. Australia don't get the decision they're looking for now. For, for there, it was a confident call by the New Zealand referee, Chris Sinclair. Lalo Jr. turning it over. Ghana now for the Futsal Roos. And Rogomo got in the way. Oh my, dual player. Back on home turf of sorts with an important defensive challenge. Lynch drops it off for Rogan. Ghana cuts out the counter-attack. It's back with Grant Lynch. Scored on Monday night. Rogan on it now. Looking to take on Rogomo with Scott Rogan. Into that net just in front of the spectators behind the goal. Kurukuru captain Rogomo getting plenty of touches on the ball. Seven and a half minutes left to play. 
played, my apologies, in this second half. In Sydney. Only one goal so far since the interval. Came deflection off Daniel Fogarty. Well, Australia had that extra player due to a red card shown to Clifford Misitano. As we've seen all night, Kurukuru have bounced back. Bounced back strongly. Here they are stringing together a nice play as junior Mana just saw it caught under his boot, allowing Grant Lynch to come forward now. Now it's Rogan. Rogan looking for Lynch. Cut out by Mana. Now sent long and out of play that time. So Australia continuing to ring in the changes. Captain Shevin Adeli back out there. Love to get his name on the score sheet in front of the home crowd willing him on. Here is Adeli now. Out wide, they've got numbers here. It's a good save from Tallow to deny Adam Cooper. Corner after a bit of confusion will be taken on this near side. Delhi trots over to take. Looking for number six now, the Futsal Roos, and there'll be some welcome breathing room if they can find it. It's Guerrero who goes to ground, no foul given. Guerrero wins it back this time. Tried to cut on the left, in the end scoops it all the way back. Badalado didn't want to register the back pass. Cooper, Guerrero, out wide, some nice one-touch play from the Futsal Roos here, and just lacking that finishing touch. Guerrero was sliding in at the back post. As Fogarty laid it, it was a tantalising ball, just lacking that finish. Would have been some team goal, that one. out on that occasion. The Solomon Islands just work their way through some possession here and a good challenge came in from Cooper. He's on the ball now for the Futsal Roos. Out there is Guerrero, one of two players on a hat-trick for Australia. Speaking of hat-tricks, it's good to see Charlie the Tynell back out there. Number six of Kuru Kuru, who has scored a hat-trick in this game. All three Solomon Island goals credited to him. We haven't really seen him so far in this second half. Back out there now with just under 11 minutes of gameplay left. That's Australia looking for number six now. It's Adeli back to goal, keeps it moving for Guerrero. Scoops it over the bar. And just halting play for a second here. Referee having a word to Damon Shaw, who goes into the book, a yellow card to the Solomon Islands coach, joins six of his players in the referee's book. <laughs> now we can get back underway. Forward it is, it's a one-on-one -on -one duel. The second ball falls down for Australia. Safety first that time from Badalado, who's had 
bit more of a quiet second half compared to the first. He was forced into plenty of big saves by Solomon Islands early. Australia have definitely kept it more tight at the back in this second period. And here they come in attack. It's Adeli pulling out the footwork. Guerrero lets it run. see the frustration as the goal kick is given. Now a chance for Solomon Islands. It was Myluma who hit it. Just hooked it, the number nine. a goal packed first half it's been a tighter affair so far in the second Grant Lynch back out there now bearing down for Australia lays it back it's Tyler Garner, it's Lynch and Basden was on rushing it's been cut out and Solomon Islands can't strike in transition this time Out wide for Ghana. Skips inside. Switches it wide. Save from Tallow. Jacob Basden with the effort was well here. Destined for the top corner. <laughs> if not for that stop from the Solomon Islands keeper. It's also impressed tonight. Now Lynch. Looks for options, and another long shot, and again it's Basden. And once again, met by the save from Talo. He's barking instructions at his teammates now, desperate to keep Australia out. One-two between Lynch and Rogan, it's Grant Lynch! Another stop from Talo. Take that three in quick succession. If it wasn't for the number one of Solomon Islands, this game could well be out of sight now for Australia. But still, they push forward again. It almost fell for Lynch. And that is who the final touch came off. Long ball cut out. Australia could be on here. Basden for Lynch, back for Basden. And Tarlo with the sliding challenge this time. It is becoming the Anthony Tarlo show out there. Can the Futsal Roos find a way through? Their only goal in this second half came when they were a man up. Tyler Garner now skipping outside. Can't deliver. Cut out once again. Looking to unpick the lock. Rogan this time. Chances continuing to stack up for Miles Downey's men. Eight minutes and 51 seconds left on the official clock here in Dural. Now it comes long. Eluma picked the pocket of Lynch. The toe poke from Bully. And now we'll see all four Australian players withdrawn. Outfield players, that is. Giovanali back out there, as is for Nito. Down the line, he goes and gets it back, keeps it in play. Switching it now. Giovanali keeps it moving. Back at fours for Finito and hooks the effort. Can they find an answer? Can they pull one back and make things very interesting heading into the final few minutes of this game? There's some positive play, but almost cut out. Back with Talo. It's 
see her now. For Gomo. And see her. Once again, Australia apply the press and do so successfully. Finito got a touch back with the goalkeeper. It looks long. And it's been met. And almost for Ragomo. Badalado called into action. And once again, up to the task for the Futsal Ruse. Now it's Fogarty and Giovanali. Continues his run forward, gets there. Wade Giovanali. The tackle came in from Talo. Not afraid to come off his line in any situation. The Solomon Islands goalkeeper. Made a swap with Sammy Lalo Jr. back out there. It will be laid off here for Finito. Drops it off and to almost the set play paying off there. kick attempt to keep it in play came from Fogarty. There's two goals to his name. The number four. Based in Queensland. The most experienced player in terms of caps out there. Solomon Islands have plenty of experience in their own right. Here comes one of them, their captain Ragomo. Forced back this time. Can they work their way forward? Here's Ragomo cut out. Still, Solomon Islands look to push on. And out of play, it rolls. Solomon Islands have been to four FIFA Futsal World Cups to Australia's seven, but it is the Solomon Islands who are most recently at the tournament back in 2021. Australia haven't featured on the world stage in this sport since 2016. Both will be looking to start their qualifying journeys come October as Australia travel to Chinese Taipei and Solomon Islands travel to New Zealand. This game serving as some pretty crucial preparation. It's always important when these two nations are allowed to get into camp. It's something that doesn't happen every day and really has been the message speaking to coaches and players. Just treasure every opportunity to build team chemistry and really enjoy a competitive hit, hit out like the one we've seen tonight. See, I lost it for a second, and Australia come forward. Once again, plenty of changes being made as we approach the final five minutes of this game now. It's the final game of a three-match Pacific Oz sports series. Still one timeout left in the game as well. One more goal for Australia, and they'll feel like they're almost there. Done well to control this two-goal lead so far in the second half. It's been a composed showing from the Futsal Roos, who certainly were under the pump at times throughout that first half. Here's Lalo Jr. back. The Marlon Sia. Switched out wide now. Bonabo with the skill. Does he have the finish? Scott Rogan making sure he got back in time. The Victorian to cut that one out. And how about Jordan Guerrero keeping his footing there under plenty of pressure? And he gets the foul. Or does he? Bit of contention around. The call, it does go Australia's way. You saw Guerrero 
doing so well to stay on his feet. And he has been rewarded for that initial contact. Now it's Zanakis back out there. Rogan sends it forward. Zanakis continuing his run, sending it across the face. Guerrero almost on the end of it. Carlo looks long. seconds left to play who strikes next in this game Australia looking for it over the head of Guerrero win it back. He's on the ball now. Shows number five, looks down the line for Zanakis. Back for Guerrero. Saw Zanakis continuing the run. It did fall to him. He's under pressure. It's been taken over though now by Cooper looking for Rogan. Talo alert to the threat. He's quick, Scott Rogan. Couldn't need it that time though. But it's been one back now. And Zanakis tried to trick his way past his marker. The clock continues to tick down on this game and this series. Australia on track for a 2-0 victory in the series. Looking to make it a three-goal lead here. And once again, Talo gets himself exactly where he needs to be. And now here comes the danger man. A tie now, winning the foul. Has a hat trick to his name and some words exchanged there between him and Jacob Basden. Either way, set piece opportunity coming up for the Solomon Islands. Did score off one of those in the first half. Solomon Islands on five fouls. Australia on just the two. Three minutes and five seconds left on the official clock. Can they make things really interesting? It's been left now for Rogomo. Final touch came off Basden. Tie now to take the corner. Scoops it towards the far post, allowed to run by Guerrero. Less than three minutes on the clock now. Juvenali. Out wide for Fogarty. Quick two-touch play from the Futsal Roos. Basden, Juvenali, not too many options ahead of him. Just holds it up, lays it back. Australia can enjoy plenty of possession. They're happy to keep the ball. They have a two-goal advantage. Two and a half minutes left now to play. Rum was being made forward, but it's played back for Basden, Juvenali. Out wide for Fogarty. Out came Tallo. Chesting it out of play. Australia want to get things started quickly. And they do. Through Fogarty and Givenali. Out of play it goes. Here's 
Steve Ragomo. Now we have Anthony Tarlo well and truly joining the attack. It's something we see during the closing stages of futsal games. That numerical advantage could prove decisive. Can they make it count here? It's Tarlo in the attacking half. <coughs> in fact, it's Sia in the goalkeeper kit. The number five, my apologies. He plays it out wide now and the shot. Over it goes, so we'll see that goalkeeper switch happen. Anthony Tarlow back on the pitch for now, but Marlon Sia stripped and ready to go in the black shirt if needed. As Australia maintained possession with 1.30 left to play. Trying to kill it off now. Fogarty striking, looking for that hat trick. Out of play it goes. And timeout coming up. Australia electing to use that timeout with just over 90 seconds left to play. They're almost there. The futsal ruse have only seen the one goal in this second half. It came early, and it was Daniel Fogarty who it deflected off. Some final pointers from the coaches, Miles Downey and Damon Shaw. This Futsal International almost comes to a close. It's been a really great week for both of these sides. Australia taking to the pitch on home soil for the first time in over four years. It's been a difficult period for Futsal, particularly with the COVID pandemic. Great to see the Futsal Roos back in action as they eye World Cup qualification once again. They'll have to start with the Asian qualifiers on October 7 and October 9, where they take on host Chinese Taipei and Japan. The equation a bit more simple for the Solomon Islands. If they can come out on top in the OFC tournament in October, they'll go to the World Cup as they did last time out. That certainly is the target one of Oceania's strongest futsal nations. And here we have Sia joining the attack in the number five shirt, that numerical advantage on for the Solomon Islands. Can they make it count? They've worked it well here and the header was on. Jeffrey Bully just couldn't quite keep it down. Out comes Talo. Have to spread it well here, and they have. Here's Ragomo down the line. He goes, and Australian scrambling well in defence. 52 seconds now on the official clock. Is there another goal in this to make things really interesting? It's the Solomon Islands pushing forward on the attack. Marlon Sia across to Ragomo, back for Sia. Australia holding firm. Now it comes in and Badalado, the fist pump in celebration as he palms it out of play. They're 29 seconds away now, the futsal ruse. Sia flicked in, cut out. Australia could be through here. Just stuck under the boot of Giovanali. The attack might still be on. Rathjan plays it out wide. Back it comes. For Giovanelli and they can just keep the ball and soak down the clock now. Ten seconds left to play. Maybe one last attack for the Futsal Rouge. Giovanelli playing it out. Fogarty tried to turn. And that will be the final action of the Pacific Oz Sports International Futsal Series. As the crowd rise to their feet in applause. The Futsal Roos come out 5-3 victors over the Solomon Islands in what has been such a great spectacle for the game in this region. Recapping the series, that's all three games done and dusted. Saturday's game at Heffron Park ending 1-1 before this venue hosted these two sides on Monday. It was a 3-2 victory to Monday to Australia 
that night. And tonight they've backed it up with a 5-3 win. Goal scorers tonight, Jordan Guerrero with an early brace. And Daniel Fogarty also with a double, a goal on either side of half time for him to go with one for Daniel Fornito who ends the series with three goals. But the top scorer for the series comes from Kuru Kuru. And it's Charlie Atino. A hat-trick tonight, five in total in three games. A great showing of sportsmanship and skill from these two nations who embrace after the game. Thank you to everyone who's tuned into this game, everyone who's supported the series. Hope you enjoyed all the action on the Football Australia YouTube channel as the Australian supporters prepare to thank their fans. A great moment. A great token of appreciation. It's not often the Futsal Roos get to play on home soil and it's heartwarming scenes like these. As we see the Solomon Islands do the same. Great to see plenty of supporters for Kuru Kuru out at all of these games as well. One final thank you, of course to the Australian Government and Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs who helped make this all happen through Pacific Oz Sports. That's all from us. That's all from me, Chris Caroli, on the Football Australia YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the action. The final score in Dural, Australia 5, Solomon Islands 3.